Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet my Miriam Ear Warmer. This is a warm and cozy ear warmer that is perfect for fall. It has beautiful cables throughout and I'm going to teach you how to do it. For this tutorial you're going to need some DK weight yarn. I use Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK for this ear warmer. It is a super soft and beautiful 100% acrylic yarn. It comes in lots of great colors and it is at a really great price point. Um, I also have a five millimeter H crochet hook. I'm using a streamline wood hook from Furls Crochet. I will link both that and the yarn and the pattern in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so not to take up too much of your time, I am going to make just a mini ear warmer. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get started, how to do the cables, and then I'm gonna show you how to finish it up. Um, so it will be a lot smaller than the pattern calls for, um, but it will take up a lot less time. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with a slip knot and I am going to chain three. So what we're gonna be doing right here is increasing where we can, um, making a section by increasing so that we can um, put our buttons there. So I've chained three. I am going to work in the second chain from my hook and I'm gonna do one single crochet in that one and then one single crochet in the next one. So I have two single crochet. Now I am going to chain one and turn and I'm gonna note that your even numbered rows are gonna be your right side. I'm gonna do two single crochet in each stitch across. So one, two in that same stitch and then one, and two in the next. So we've increased to four single crochet. Chain one, turn. I'm going to do two single crochet in my first stitch. One, two. One single crochet in each stitch across to the last stitch. So in this case, I only have two stitches in the middle. So I did one single crochet in each and then two single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, now I am going to repeat that row, row three, for, from, for rows four through eight until I have 16 single crochet across. So I'm gonna chain one, turn, two single crochet in the first, one single crochet in each stitch across to the last stitch. And then two single crochet in the last. All right, we have 16 single crochet across. As you can see, we have made a little triangle. And this is where our buttons are gonna go at the end. Um, so now for row nine, we're gonna do a chain one and turn, and we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch across. So we'll have 16 single crochet. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, there we go. Now we are done increasing. So for row 10, we're going to start using our cable stitches. It says to chain one and turn your work. It says to do one single crochet in the first two stitches and then one front post double crochet around the next. So what we're going to do, we're going to be working two rows below for our post stitches. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook behind that stitch two rows below. I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through two. So that is one front post double crochet. I'm not working into the stitch here, so it will be um, unworked behind it. Now I'm going to do it in the next one. Yarn over, insert my hook behind the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through two. So I've worked two, oops. Okay, now we're ready to do row 10 which will be where we start our cable work. Now, just a side note, we are gonna be working in the, um, around the stitches from two rows below when we're doing our cable work, which is why we stick a single crochet in, in between you. So every other row, we're doing a row of single crochet so that we can work two rows below for our stitches. So we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work, we're gonna do one, single crochet in the first two stitches. Okay, so now we are going to be working a one front post double crochet. So we're working two rows below. So we're not working this, this row that we just did. We're gonna be working below it. So we are going to do, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook behind that stitch two rows below. Yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two, two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two. So we've done one front post double crochet stitch. We're not gonna be working into that stitch from below, the row below. So it's just gonna be left unworked right there. So then we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we're that in the single crochet, we're doing right into the stitch that we just worked, um, the previous row. And now we are going to do one front post double crochet around the next six. So we've done one, two here. We're looking at our two rows below. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook behind that stitch to create my post stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna do that again. Yarn over, insert hook into the next, behind the next, two rows below. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna continue this four more times so we have a total of six front post double crochet stitches. And six. And you can see you got your six here. One, two, three, four, five, six unworked. Hope you can see that. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. 
one front post double crochet around the next. We're basically doing the same thing we did over here. And then one single crochet in the last two. So this is our setup row for our um, cables, which is row 10. So for row 11, like I said, the even, I mean the odd numbered rows are going to be on our wrong side and they're just going to be single crochet um, all the way across and that sets us up for the next round. So all our even numbered rows are facing the right side and they're going to have our cables. All the odd numbered rows are going to be single crochet. So for row 11, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch across. And you're going to be working into the actual stitch. You're not going to be work that you just did, not these ones that you worked um, in front of. So the actual cable stitches you're working your single crochet into. So these cables have a very distinct right side and wrong side. You can't, it's not reversible in any way. So, cause it will have this on the back. All right, so one single crochet in each stitch. All right, and that's what it looks like. Now we're ready to do row 12. So I'm gonna chain one and turn. We are back to our right side, an even numbered row. I'm gonna do one single crochet in the first two stitches. Then I'm going to do a front post double crochet, just like I did in row 10. This time I'm going to work around the front post double crochet that I did in row 10. That's two rows below. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook behind that front post double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Now I'm gonna do one single crochet in the next two stitches. And I am now working around these front post double crochets that I did in row, in row 10. It says to skip the first stitch, or to skip one stitch, and do one front post double crochet around the next two. So I'm skipping this first one, I'm gonna yarn over, Insert my hook behind that front post double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna do that again for the next one, yarn over, insert hook behind the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now I'm going to do one front post double crochet around the skipped stitch, the very first front post double crochet stitch that I did in row 10. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go sort of in front of the stitches I just did and stick my hook behind that front post double crochet stitch. I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. I've got three loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. So it just kind of crosses over right there. All right, I have three more front post double crochets. So I'm going to repeat that, all those three stitches again on this side. So I'm gonna skip the next one, work one front post double crochet around the next two. and then work one front post double crochet around the skipped one. So I'm going back in front of, and then behind, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it just kind of creates like a crossed look. All right, and then I am going to be doing one single crochet in each of the next two, one front post double crochet around the next one, which is the front post double crochet from two rows below, and then one single crochet in the last two. So this is what it looks like so far. Here's where we crossed. 
And we're ready to do the next row, which is row 13, which is repeat row nine. One single crochet in each stitch across. All right, we're ready for row 14 now. So what we're gonna do is chain one, turn our work, we're facing the right side now. And row 14 is a repeat of row 10. So I'm gonna do one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. One front post double crochet around the stitch from two rows below. One front post, I mean, one single crochet in the next two. And now we're doing one front post double crochet around the six stitches. So we're going in order of how they were worked. As you can see, here's the one, two, and then three, which is the one crossover. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook behind that first front post double crochet that I see. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to work around that second one, which is behind our third one right here. So you may have to maneuver your yarn a little bit to get behind it. Pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We've done two. Now we're going to go over this one on top. So just stick your hook behind it, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do the same thing with the next three. We're going to work our first two and then our third one. So yarn over, insert your hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This middle one is the one that's a little tricky. You might have to move your yarn a little bit. Get behind it. And work your stitch. And then you've got your last one, which would be front post double crochet number six. And work it. All right, so you've done one front post double crochet around the next six. You have one single crochet in the next two. One front post double crochet around the next. Whoops. And one single crochet in the last two. So that is row 14. Here's what it looks like. Row 15 is a repeat of row 9. One single chain one turn and one single crochet in each stitch across. We are done with 15. Now we are ready for row 16. So chain one turn. We are going to do one single crochet in the first two. One front post double crochet in the next, whoops. One single crochet in the next two. And now we are working around our six stitches. So what it says to do is it says to skip three stitches and to do one front post triple crochet around the next three. So I'm skipping the first three. And I'm going to be working into these three. So for a triple crochet, you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to insert your hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two more, two loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through the last two. We're going to do that again, yarn over twice, insert hook behind the next post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. 
One more time, yarn over twice, insert hook behind the post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we've worked three front post triple crochet stitches. Now it says to do one front post triple crochet stitch around the three skipped stitches. So now we're working in this one and we're gonna go in order one, two, and three for our stitches. So yarn over twice, you're gonna be working kind of above your work that you just did. Yarn, insert your hook behind the post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're gonna do it for the next stitch, which is right here, yarn over twice, insert hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we got one more right here. So yarn over twice, insert hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So there you have it. That's what we have so far. We're gonna do one single crochet in the next two stitches. One front post double around the next, and then one single crochet in the last two. So here we have our cables and what it looks like so far. Now we are going to do another odd numbered row, which is row 17, chain one, turn, and do one single crochet in each stitch across. All right, and row 18 is a repeat of row 10. So we're just gonna do, we've chained one and turn, one single crochet in the first two, one front post, double crochet around the next, one single crochet in the next two, and then we're doing one front post double crochet stitch around each of the next six. So we're working in order that it is worked. So we're doing one, two, three, and then four, five, and six. So yarn over, insert hook behind that post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Find your next one, do the same thing, and then you got your third one here in the back. And you're just working double crochet in for this row. Now we're over to the three on top, so it's a little easier to see. And we work one double crochet, front post double crochet around each of them. Like so, and then one single crochet in the next two. One front post double crochet around the next and one single crochet in the last two. There you have it. There is our cable stitch. So the rest you are going to repeat rows 11 through 18 and you're just gonna continue to repeat those. Um, for this one, this length is goes to row 82 and it is 21 and a half inches long. You can determine your length completely um, by just repeating those rows 11 through 18 so however long you want it if you have want to make this for a toddler you can make it much shorter you can just do those repeats for as long as you want so i am going to now show you how to do instead of doing the repeats and continuing on i'm going to show you how to um, do the decreases to finish out your ear warmer. So after you've repeated rows 11 through 18 as many times as you want to get to the length that you want, you are going to do some decreases. So keep that in mind also when you are um, doing your, your repeats because this part right here at the beginning and the end add approximately two inches. 
So if you're doing the repeats, you're going to want to only do the repeats till this entire thing is about two inches less than what you want the length of your ear warmer to be because you got about two inches here and you're going to have about two inches on the end. So keep that in mind, but you can make it any length that you want. All right, so now we are going to start our decreases. So you've got you've gotten the length that you want, minus two inches, and you're ready to finish up. So we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch across on the back here. Okay, and now we're going to chain one, turn, and do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, now we are going to chain one and turn, and we're going to do a single crochet two together at the beginning. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. That decreases your stitches, so you only have one stitch even though you worked into two. Now we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the last two stitches. Okay, I'm at my last two, and I'm going to do a single crochet two together again. I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over, and pull through three. So I've decreased by two stitches, so I only have 14 stitches now. I'm going to chain one and turn, and now I'm going to continue to repeat that row until I get to four, only four stitches. So I'm going to do a single crochet decrease to start, one single crochet in each stitch across to the last two, And then another single crochet decrease. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that and continue that repeating that row until I have four stitches. And you can do the same. All right, I've gotten to four stitches, four single crochet. And now what I'm going to do is create my buttonhole. So I am going to chain one and turn. I'm going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, chain two, skip two, and one single crochet in the last. And that creates just a little buttonhole. So I have two single crochet and two chain two spaces, or chain twos. Then I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to do one single crochet in the first again, and I'm going to do one single or two single crochet around the two chains and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the last. So now I have four single crochet again. Then I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to do one single crochet two together twice. So I'm decreasing twice and then I have two stitches left and that creates my little buttonhole. And then from here, I'm ready to fasten off. You'll add your buttons. I added two just because I like to make adjustments or like to adjust it. Sometimes I like it tighter, sometimes I don't, depending on how my hair is done, <laughs> stuff like that. So you can add your buttons here on this side or on this side, your beginning side that doesn't have any holes. And then you will use the other side to attach to your button um, inside the hole. So that's how it would close the ear warmer. Um, 
So yeah, that is how you do the Miriam ear warmer. That's how you do the cables. Add your buttons here right down the middle. And then you get your buttonhole on this side to close. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.